Yo, it's your boy, you tell me B. I'm tuning in with Taco Talks TV. Let's get it. I'm tuning in with the voice of the U. Taco Talks, man. Shout out Taco Talks. You got, you got some what? I'm CHV Top Soul, and I'm on Taco Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Talks TV. Lord, dude, Luciano. Man, go over his Gucci gun. You see his car face in a motherfucking building. <laughs> Body murder, man. You know what it is, man. It's baby out, aka Slim Rich. Man. Why is he at DJ? Taco Talk TV. King of the city. Big Don Bain. I'm Jean Rich. Pay some. Three commas, man. I'm Molly, man. This Cape Ray. 3 -0. Is he on Taco Talk TV? <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, for real, man. But, man, man y'all pay attention and y'all wake up to what's going on. Nah, for real, man. You, you need to know something. <laughs> for sure. You need to know something. But just in translating that into the music, yeah. is it hard? Because I was explaining to somebody, they like, they like, you know, you be working with all the rappers, Taco. Why won't you do the do the do? I'm like, man, first of all, I can't tell another man how to be. The second thing is like, you know how hard it is to, to not talk about drink and drugs and sex and money and all this other stuff? Yeah. And to talk about college and scholarships and investing in your craft and getting a trade or whatever it takes to make you a successful adult. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to make that shit rhyme and make that shit flow into a beat or put that shit together so a nigga is like, let me turn this bullshit off, bro. <laughs> Not you give me that to the buck, but let me tell you what's what's different between me and all these other niggas. See, my name is crazy. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. It's gonna gravitate to who it gravitate. I'm not trying to get people who listen to fucking rap killing nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make people who are like me listen to me. Yeah. So so to answer your question, just not giving a fuck because I could die today. I wanna be. I wanna have notoriety, not fame, bro. I don't want to die being known as oh he got. 20 bodies I want to be known for, bro. That nigga built a community center in his hood. That nigga helped the mother when she was on crack and helped with her kid. That nigga raising a, a baby that's not even his. He met the, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. I want to be a good nigga, bro. Not saying for the people, just, bro, when I when I leave this planet, I'm trying to go to the next level. I'm not yeah. trying to come back to this motherfucker. We're not going to get there. That's the answer to your question. That's, that's, that, that's that elevated talk, man. Yeah. If y'all don't know what's going on by, yeah. I don't know how far along we are, but <laughs> if you don't know by now, you need to pause this video, go play recovery, put that bitch on repeat like a couple of times, <laughs> the under loves joint. Replay that joint, then spin over to the deluxe joint and really play it back again to make sure you know what's going on. Dumb. Nah, for real. Because good. because a lot of this is gonna go over their heads, and I think it's important that like people don't just overlook the small details like this, right? And yeah. and really putting it into appreciation because I I'm not a rapper, but I do understand how hard it is to put some positive shit yeah, in some rap on beat, singing, making it appealing, and and really making it that. So yeah, bro. to Crazy Montana, shout out to him, man. Nah, now for bro. real. Thank for you, real, bro. for real, I'm and doing I think, my best, bro. yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's important to, to highlight that and give people their flowers while they hit. You know what I'm saying? Man. Especially with all the shit that's going on, like. Man, look, shout out my man, my brother Squeak Dog. When I hit my fucking milestone with half a million, this nigga dropped flowers all in my house. Yeah. Well, you wild niggas would have thank you, bro. Wild niggas would have been like, bro, what the fuck type. Other shit he on. Nah. I looked at it like I cried. I'm like, fool, cause he knew what I went through, bro. I started, he was with there when I had I was starting off a rock band like in a fucking basement. Now I'm getting plaques and shit. Yeah. People was laughing. I seen when I had a show, I, I was suffering, bro. I seen niggas throw my shit in a trash can. Nah. This nigga ain't gonna be shit. Yeah. Ain't gonna be shit. Now they in my deal, I'm like, fool, how the fuck? I'll be like, damn. That's how that work now. I'm, I'm this, that, and third. Now you want help? That's wild. Like yeah. this is a wild world, y'all. Like this shit's crazy. Nah, for yeah, real. Yeah, it it definitely be like that. Like I said, it be the whole circulation and, and, and rotation of what's going on, and to be able to just be elevated like that, or even the passion or the drive for that. Like most niggas, they like, man, I tried that shit. That shit ain't work. Let me go back to doing X, Y, and Z. Right. Bro. Perseverance, and, my fault. And, and that's a nah, you on point though. You on point. Yeah. Perseverance is definitely, definitely one of the ones. We're gonna be right back. And we back like I told you we would be. You know what I'm saying? But mental health. Yeah. What has that been like as a black man 
what has it been like it's as a, a rapper? It's a game, bro. Nah, for real, because I heard you say that in a couple of songs. Like, I am as crazy being a black man, black man in America. America. I say that it. shit. You I say it. that shit, bro. Like, yeah. like it's crazy, bit like real life. I can't even. I don't even have enough words except for it's crazy as shit to be a black man That's in my America. Name. Well, listen, it's hard, bro. Like the older you get, the more, the more, the more I realize it's being. Colored in America, food is a psychologically uh, uh, disorder itself. Just and um, I'm learning day by day, bro. At first, I used to be scared. Talk about my mental health. I used to be scared as shit. Like, I'm gonna be looked at as a bitch, a, a faggy, or whatever the fuck you could call it, bro. But when I came out and talked about my mental health, you know, I mean, niggas was in my den like stone cold kids, like you a soldier. Well, DMV, shout out DMV Hoods and News. He posted that without me asking. Because I was the first nigga from the area to really talk. Come, I posted the picture when I had the toothpaste, all that shit, out the fucking mental hospital. My man, Deuce, pulled up on me, pulled up D-Max. They pulled up. I said, bring the camera. I'm about to start my story, bro. And when I did that, that's that was trying like pre-promotion for the album Recovery. Recovery was supposed to drop a year before that. Yeah. But my father died. Uh. And, so dealing with that, it was it was troublesome, bro. Like it's like, damn, bro. I got fucking depression. I got fucking psychosis. I got anxiety. But you can't let that shit out nowhere. The music wasn't working, and I'm not doing no drugs. So what else is there to do? Hurt yeah. myself. Yeah. Hurt other people. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You don't do no drugs. Bro, I, I drink it and you know I hit the peace pipe, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's all. Okay. I don't do no other shit like okay. that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm right with you, though. I think yeah. it's it's crazy, right? We was, I was talking to somebody and we was talking about being emotionally incarcerated. That's a that's an album cover. That's an album name. Mm -hmm. Whoever said that shit better do it before I do it. Nah, for real. <laughs> nah, for real, because that's yeah. what it is. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, yeah. you real got to... You got to keep your shit in like this, because even adding a little precursor of, yeah, this ain't directed towards you, but yeah. this is just how I'm feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People still take it as, dime. that's how you feel about me? I'm like, bitch, I just sat here and told you. That's not how I feel about you. That's just how I'm feeling. Damn. Right? Yeah. But the fact that you sitting here trying to let it out, now you the villain. That's how I see it. Mental health. That's how I, my approach and my take in. I did. In our community, yes. Because yeah, I, I work growing up, seven, we got Asians, Caucasians, Hispanics. They're more open to talking about that shit sometimes. Our community, nigga, it was the point in time I was like three, I cried. Not three, I'm like seven. I cried because somebody broke my toy or some kid shit. My aunt said, if a tear come out your eye, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I said, damn. So that made me conceal my feelings. Now I'm hurting people. You know what I'm saying? I think I think it's both sides though. Like Ooh. it's important. It's important to, and this not even just off the toy example, but it's important to go through and let some of that shit slide. But at the same time, it's important to let the 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 temperature and the impact of it resonate within your mind, right? So that you yeah. can go through and get to a point of understanding. Like, damn, you know what? X, Y, and Z make me feel like this. That's okay to feel like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That other yeah. times it's like, boom, this ain't even a time or yeah. space to be feeling like yeah. that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta put yeah. that shit aside, deal with it when you get in the shower or That's when you I'm get saying, home or man. something. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, dude, uh, if you dealing with mental health, yeah, first of all, if it's getting to the point you wanna harm yourself, call the 1 800 number. Real shit, I did that shit. I wouldn't be afraid to admit that. Call somebody you trust. If you did with it, just talk that shit out, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually an advocate for mental health under uh, behind the facade, clothing line BTF. So they, they, you know, I, I hope that's like dealing with mental awareness and all that. Talk to somebody, man. I don't want you hurting yourself. I don't want you hurting nobody. Cause one, man, it's always consequences behind every action. You may think you're not feeling worthy, but if you take your life away right now, bro, the whole world is gonna feel that shit. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Nah, he on point though. It's like that little picture. If you seen the nigga in the mine with the pickaxe, yeah. and they say don't give up because yeah. you don't know what's going yeah. on. Like Man. you could be right close to them diamonds. Okay, listen. A year before recovery job, I was going hurt. I was harming myself. I was in a mental facility. Year after, I got a plaque 
for telling my story. That's what use me. I don't do this shit for no views, for no money. When I get paid on music, I pay the producers all that shit, and I just live life because I'm here to spread a message, bro. I don't care if you look at me as corny, y'all. If you think trying to help niggas is corny, something wrong with you. You need to look yourself in the mirror, whoever you are. I'm here to open, like, help people, bro. I'm using my gift as a gift and not a curse. I could get on a song saying, yeah, I had depression. I'm going to pop this fat and all. Now, my young nigga going to get depression. Yeah, yeah, bro, I got depression. I'm about to pop some fat and all. Now, he dead. I just killed a nigga. Not doing that shit. 